Now in the previous video, we looked at different types of average cost and cost per unit of output. And that's important to businesses. Another cost which is important to businesses is called marginal cost. And marginal cost is essentially the cost of producing an additional unit of output. For example, if the firm has produced five units of output and it wants to produce the sixth unit of output, it wants to figure out how much it will cost to produce that particular unit of output. Another thing you should know is that when we use the term marginal, what we are looking at are very small changes. And, and when we use very small changes, how do we calculate these very small changes? We just take the difference between two consecutive numbers and that will give us the difference between the two. Now, here is the basic equation we have been using on the cost side and that is total cost can be broken down into labor and capital cost. Since labor is the variable input, the labor cost is called the total variable cost or TVC. And since capital is the fixed input, the cost associated with capital is called total fixed cost. Or total cost can be broken down into TVC and TFC. Now let's put triangle in front of each of these variables and triangle represents change and so we have this expression and mathematically this is correct we divide all throughout by change in Q we can do that we are not doing anything wrong mathematically now change in total cost divided by change in output this one we'll call this MTC where MTC stands for marginal total cost change in total variable cost divided by change in output we will represent this as MVC which is marginal variable cost of production and Change in total fixed cost divided by change in output, we'll call this MFC, and FMFC is marginal fixed cost. In any case, what we find here is MTC can be broken down into two parts. It's just a sum of MVC and MFC. So once again, we have this table where the first three columns represent short-run production function and we have assumed that labor is paid $25 each worker is paid $25 and the rent on the building is $25 as well and based on those numbers and short-run production function we calculate it TVC, TFC and TC. Now let us calculate MVC and what is MVC? MVC we know is change in TVC where triangle represents change divided by change in output and how do we calculate this? Look at the following. The firm decides to increase output from 0 to 5. So how much is change in output? It is 5 minus 0 or simply 5. What happens to TVC? When the firm starts to produce five units of output, it increases from zero to 25, or change in TVC is 25 minus zero, or simply 25. So you divide 25 by five, and what you get is five as the answer. Now the firm has already produced five units of output, and it increases it to 12. What happens to TVC? It increases from 25 to 50. What is change in Q? It is 50 minus 25, that is 25. And what is change in Q? It is 12 minus 5, which is 7. So you divide 25 by 7, and what you get is 3.57. And in this way, we can calculate 
all these numbers. Now let us calculate MFC and how have we defined MFC? MFC is change in TFC divided by change in Q and look at what is TFC it's a fixed cost of production or well, this number does not change at all so what will be change in TFC by definition this will be zero and if you divide any number by zero what you get is zero as the answer and so marginal fixed cost is exactly zero for all levels of output as far as MTC goes there are two ways to do it one is you can simply add MVC and MFC and what you will get is MTC so 5 plus 0 is 5 3.57 plus 0 is 3.57 and so on another way to do the same thing is you can look at change in total cost divide this by change in output and again you'll get the same answer so this is how we calculate MTC now on this table you realize that there's no concept called MFC why because when we say something is fixed it cannot change and what is MFC trying to do it's trying to look at change in fixed cost and there can be no change in fixed cost so if you look at any textbook no textbook distinguishes between MVC, MFC, and MTC. What they have is simply a concept called marginal cost. And why they use just marginal cost? It's simply because by definition, MVC and MTC are one and the same thing. And why is this true? Simply because MFC as a concept does not exist. So why should MFC be equal to zero? We have already answered this question. And if MFC is zero, that means MVC equals MTC. And that is why economists use the concept of marginal cost and do not mention MVC, MTC. And so what is marginal cost? Marginal cost, the definition is, is the cost of producing an additional or extra unit of output. And how do we measure this? We can measure it through total cost, which is change in total cost divided by change in output, or we can measure it as change in total variable cost divided by change in output, and we know both these expressions will give us exactly the same number, and that number we'll call marginal cost. So on this diagram, what we have is marginal cost as in dollars on the vertical axis, quantity of output Q on the horizontal axis and we plot those points relating to marginal cost so when the firm produces five units of output the marginal cost of production is five dollars and in this way we can plot these points and join them and what we get is a marginal cost curve now what you observe here is initially when the firm increases output what happens to marginal cost it declines and as the firm increases its output further what happens to marginal costs it starts to rise or in other words the marginal cost curve pretty much like AVC or ATC curves is also u-shaped now why is marginal cost curve u-shaped and by u-shaped we know initially it declines and then it starts to rise and like we did in the case of the relationship between AVC and APL, we can find a similar kind of relationship between marginal cost and marginal product of labor. Again, there is an inverse relationship between MC and MPL. And what does this mean? As MC declines, marginal product must be becoming higher and higher. And why does marginal product increase? It is happening because of law of increasing marginal product of labor. Why does marginal cost curve increase or rise? It's happening because of law of diminishing marginal product of labor. 
and what is law of diminishing marginal product of labor as we increase number of workers mpl or productivity of each worker as if by name declines and that is the reason as to why we have a u-shaped mc curve and we know that ld mpl which is law of diminishing marginal product of labor follows law of increasing marginal product of labor and that is why we get a u-shaped marginal cost curve in any case remember this productivity and the relevant costs are always inversely related to one another and so one of the reasons why firms emphasize productivity increases <coughs> excuse me is simply because they want to bring down the average or the marginal cost of production now here we have a complete table which contains all the total cost all the average cost and also the marginal cost so these numbers are simply based on what we have done previous and based on those numbers we plot those points and we get different curves this curve is the AFC curve this one is the ABC curve and this one is the ATC curve and the yellow one we know is the marginal cost curve now look at the relationship between marginal and average cost curves they could be ATC or ABC when marginal cost is less than average cost what happens to average cost it declines and this is what you observe for example if you pick up AVC you find here marginal cost is less than AVC and so you can see AVC is declining here at higher levels of output you find marginal cost is greater than average cost so what is happening to average cost average cost is increasing and since we have a sequence like this initially marginal is less than average and then becomes greater than average in such a case marginal cost curve will intersect the relevant average cost curve at its minimum point average minimum point and from below that's a rule that we established earlier and this you can see the same thing here and the same other thing happens with respect to a tc so the location of these curves where they intersect and all that is governed by those mathematical relationships now once again i have brought in total cost curves so we have tc tvc and tfc this is tfc this one is tvc and this one is tc now based of these curves we can calculate the relevant average cost as well as marginal cost look at the average cost if the firm produces 5 units of output what is tvc it is 25 and 25 divided by 5 will give us average variable cost of production and suppose i draw a line from the origin up to the tvc curve the line from the origin to tvc curve will give us avc similarly the line from the origin to the total cost curve will give us average total cost so this is how we can calculate average cost based on these curves and average costs are based are simply the slope of the line from the origin to the relevant total cost curve it could be tvc or it could be just tc now how do we calculate marginal cost marginal cost is change in total cost or total variable cost divided by change in output and this will always be given by the slope of the tangent to the curve at that point so remember this average is given by the slope of the line from the origin that will give us the average cost what will be marginal cost it's the slope of the tangent to the total cost curve at a particular point and this completes our discussion of the short run phenomena thank you for your time